Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the first of our special feature bouts of the evening. The co-main event of the evening. Ten rounds in a super bantamweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Kieran McCann, and your timekeeper, Mr. John Smith. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Officially, he weighed in at 122.3 pounds, equaling 11 stone, 10 pounds, and 3 ounces. He brings to the ring a professional record of 23 wins, 12 by way of knockout, and 4 losses. Tonight, wearing purple and white shorts from Las Talitas, Argentina. Please welcome. McGregor versus Ruiz, the co-main event here at York Hall. Kicking off 2022. With more top-class boxing, Lee McGregor. Nine stoppages in his 11 victories, but Diego Ruiz has got 12 stoppages himself. And he's returning to the UK as well after in the distance against Shavaz Masood, another Ben Davison fighter, of course. Well, we were inside for that one, Barry, and he was outclassed on that night by a very stylish Masood. But he took some good work and wasn't a particularly easy customer. No, Masood boxed out of his skin, I thought, and a real, real improvement in his work. Um, but with McGregor, we got something different, haven't we? We've got a guy who, who, who's tall and long. He doesn't fight that way, you know, he likes to get in close, likes to work the body, has power, and he wants you to feel it with every shot. That's good work from McGregor there. Touch him with the uppercut, ripping the left hook over the top. So Ruiz done the work earlier as well, with a body shot attempt at the right hook, but just in these opening exchanges, we can see the difference in the snap of McGregor's shots and that uppercut getting through. Well, McGregor's shots are a lot neater, that's the most important part. Where, where Ruiz is, you know, his shots are a little bit looping and wide. McGregor's right down the centre of the guard every time. Yeah, lovely uppercut again gets through and Ruiz, that right hook of his, a little bit too loopy. It's a nice tight guard as well there from McGregor, isn't it? McGregor will be pleased with the only success he's had with that uppercut. Oh, and again, and off the forehead and then a left body shot. A couple of lefts from Ruiz in response. Just think he needs to take a little slide with the left foot, just get a different angle on that body shot. Good left hook there from McGregor. Good head movement to touch the right hand going over the top of Ruiz. A body shot there from McGregor. Shake of the hand and a smile from Ruiz, but that's usually a sign of exactly the opposite of what he wants it to be. A heavy right again from McGregor. But again, I just think if he, he just took a little, little spin round to the right, I think it's just opens up the body there for that left hook. From the jab from McGregor, this time it's Ruiz. Gets through with the left uppercut. Good jab from McGregor there, just stepped in behind that one. Just a little dip and roll then after that uppercut there, Lee McGregor. Just keeps moving forward as well, doesn't he, McGregor? Just that uppercut again. He's short with the left hand there. Good jab from Ruiz. But again, it's the, that, oh, that's the force you to rush your work. And your accuracy, your power, everything's out, out of sync then. Going into those shots from the ground too. End of the first round, Kieran, your thoughts? 
very good round one for um, Lee McGregor. Uh, I think he's really economical with his movement, and it's nice to watch. It's, it, it is nice to watch. Um, he's, he's not wasting much at all. He's focused. You can see his eyes are constantly on his opponent. He's, he's tidy work. This is very good round one for Lee McGregor. And, yeah, Ruiz. He's, he's there. I like his shorts. And fancy, but he's not done much talk so far. But, um, of course, Lee McGregor. Very good. Absolutely delighted to find out we brought you here for your fashion tips. Yeah, um, sure, so just a pair of fancy, and they are catching. Corners, so, uh, ten uh, seconds. See you in a pair of those, Barry. Um, Seconds out, round two. Especially with that roll neck top. <laughs> round two, here we go. McGregor and Ruiz. McGregor will certainly feel as though he shaded the first. Work there though from Ruiz. Three and a half back to back. The uppercut now looks. I think the one he gave back was a little bit sharper. Good sharp exchange as well. It's going to be difficult for Ruiz because he's just not able to control his ring position at all, is he? No, but, oh, that's yeah. nice left there, though. But I think he's, he's, he's created a bit of space for himself, even though McGregor's like, supposed to put the pressure on. So far in this round, he's created a bit more space for himself there to land some more quality shots. A little jab exchange there, but sharper from Ruiz. Good jab there from McGregor, I thought. Second. From Ruiz, lovely right hand. And a better round from the Argentinian. That roll from McGregor to make him miss, and then Ruiz off the gloves, on the belt. Hawks to the corner with his hands up. He's enjoying himself here in the UK. And a better round from the Argentinian, Kieran. But I do, I do think that, even though he is a little bit wild, I still think that he needs to go back to that direct route with the pressure. That the jab needs to be a little bit more solid, and also more importantly, I think, cool. it, just make a move with that, he throws his punches, that's where Ruiz is firing back. Thank you. 
managed to get his work away. He just does little movements before he does anything. Before or after the McGregor will pay dividends because that just offsets the rhythm there of Ruiz. Little movement before you do anything, you're not sure where you're coming from. If you're going to throw, if you're going to go back, you know what you're doing. Constantly keeping guessing, keeping thinking while you're setting up your next move. And that's moving ahead, but after you throw the shot, so you're not attacking to be hit automatically. That's what we're looking for. We have to cut there from McGregor. Body shot go back there from Ruiz. Just gotta be careful that little McGregor. He just when he throws the jab at that elbow, just that right elbow, just looks ever so slightly. And Ruiz can stick inside that jab and then he roots to the left hook to the body. A good shots there from McGregor. Uh, sorry, then uppercut got through again, but then Ruiz gets through with an uppercut. A couple of good jabs from McGregor too. Ruiz with the right hand. Some good shots here, Ruiz. Oh, both took the left hook. I think uh, Ruiz is the more solid the shot of the two. Good shot there, McGregor. Just touching foreheads on the way in as well. To get closer, Ruiz. There's the right hand, and there's McGregor going to the body. Suggested he might, yeah. Nice right hand there from Ruiz as well. Nice right hand there from McGregor, though, but Ruiz throws back. Ruiz just head to head again. Ruiz lands the uppercut, then Ruiz lands a couple of left hands and steps away. Straight back to it. Good, some good work from McGregor, but Ruiz is firing back at every time. Got a right hand there from Ruiz. And then right on the bell from Ruiz. Well, certainly he'd say so. But Kieran, this one just settling into a rhythm. Yeah, Ruiz had a uh, really good round for himself there, I think. Um, He's leading off, and, but Ruiz is coming back every time with his own his own work. Well, I think it's now time for him to relax their arms up a little bit and start doing his leading off of his own work if he wants to get a little bit more success in this fight. Um, start just leading off a little bit more himself because he's only retaliating. It's, it's a little bit too defensive, in my opinion. But if he starts leading off a little bit more, maybe he'll get some success for himself. Judging by the look on Lee McGregor's face, he certainly thought that glancing blow was a touch late. Still plenty to come here. Three rounds down. Diego Ruiz and his shorts that Kieran's going to ask him about afterwards, certainly finding their way into this fight. That was always, that was the fear, wasn't it? That McGregor might be a little bit too strong and a little bit too much, but he was going to be surely competitive. Ruiz has shown in the past. He's tough and doing what he can be, and also effective when he's given the opportunity. And McGregor's sort of style as well, the way he likes to come forward. And gives you an opportunity to get by a back, of course. a few times in the UK. Still looking for his first victory on these shores. It's been a tough fight for everyone. So he stopped in the ninth round against Conway. And then the distance with Masood. But that was a very, very different fight, wasn't it? Conway. Uh, what did I say? Conway sat next to him. Yes, sir. Conway should, Conway should stop him, but he's always yeah. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, so anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great to oh, have the company. Shot there from McGregor. See that little, that little right screw shot there from McGregor. <laughs> yes, Conlon. And we're looking forward to going back in April for another Conlon fight night in Belfast. So make sure you join us for that. 
good call out of the referee. Just using the inside of the glove there, McGregor's the holder. Ruiz. Oh, shot there. Lovely left hand from McGregor. The knowledge was well there from Ruiz. But he just throws straight back again. And that's a left to the body, Ruiz. But in, a, in a way, McGregor wants him to throw. You know he's going to get caught with shots, of course. But he wants the gaps to appear. Good right hand there from Ruiz. He's really digging in. It's the there, Ruiz. But... Well, for a while there, they just went one, two, one, two, back and forth. This McGregor, who's the foot, has that forward momentum. So there's a bit more weight than his shots. He's doing pushing Ruiz back. Yeah, that heavy shot shots. earlier in the round. There's blood coming from the nose of Ruiz now. Another well, cut there from Ruiz as well, from McGregor as well. Some good sustained work here from Lee McGregor. Nice uppercut. With the right hand goes straight with the left, and then a heavy right. It was off the gloves, but surely these heavy shots are going to take their toll at some point in the fight. This the most physical it's been so far as we come towards the end of the round. It's good from McGregor. It's a nice and neat and tidy. Good work. And that, Kieran Con way, was some round of boxing. Yeah, it was. Um, that round flew by. <laughs> uh, they just went back and forward for that whole round and I don't see either of them wanting to take a step back or take a step off that either. Neither of them want to um, let the other man work about coming back, but very, very good round that. With four rounds in, let's get the thoughts of Spencer Fearing. Yeah, I've been I've been very, very impressed with Lee McGregor on the things that he's doing, how he's how he's sitting in the pocket. But Ruiz is is is, is very, very game because he's firing back. And he's making it competitive, but I've got Lee McGregor, I've given him every single round, but what he needs to do, like he's, he's fine training, training, he should put in fours and fives in. Fours and fives are what Spence is asking for. And here we are, five, well, the beginning of the fifth round of this bat. The pace of that fourth round, surely. They can't continue at that kind of rate. Some of the shots going in, the weight of the shots, they're going to take their toll at some point. Well, you would think so, but on who? That, that, that's, that's the worry there. I think, you know, McGregor's the one who's, who's, who's forcing the pace. You think it would be more comfortable for him? He's having the more success, even though you know, Ruiz is constantly in there every round and every minute of every round, but he's the, he's the one really on the, on the end of the heavier shots. And that last round there, there was good, good sustained pressure from McGregor. Got through with a the left there, and Ruiz stuck the chin out, asked him to come forward again. He's really having fun in there, do it, Diego Ruiz. Get clear gap, that was McGregor. With that big right hand. Ruiz missed. Ruiz came back. Exchange, both men landing as he steps in and goes downstairs. Tom McGregor, but I still think he needs to just to shift his feet, just to get a different angle. Shifted the shoulders down right to the front, over the yes. front knee, and just shifted all his weight then back onto the left hook. Good body shot there from, from Ruiz. Yes. To the body again. There, McGregor, with a nice one, two. Nice uppercut. I think what Spencer says, right now, you, you want to you see a, a combination, a sustained combination of what he's pushing him back. I think he's worried that, not worried, aware that Ruiz does fire back. I think if you can move your head when you do it, you dip and roll and come back, you can throw those seven punches, six or seven punches. 
in two sections. I think that'll work for him. Five rounds in. Has anything changed in that last five minutes, last three minutes for you, Kieran? Well, Lee seems to be uh, taking his time a little bit more and um, thinking a little bit more about his work again. I think the, the last couple of rounds started rushing a little bit, but he came out in the first, week, first round really well thinking, um, made sure everything was stuck to the plan. And he's got back to it now, I think. I think now it's just time to start changing the angles and coming around the side. Um, but still still concerned that Bruis only works when Lee works. He don't, he don't lead off. Um, so I hope to, I hope to see that. I hope to see him lead off um, in this, this round. You mentioned the shorts. Did you think of the boots? Boots are equally as um, high <laughs> Here we go then, round six. McGregor versus Diego Ruiz. And again, we see an example of exactly what you were talking about, Kieran, where Ruiz waits for McGregor to initiate and throws back. Nice jab for McGregor. I think he was blocked by McGregor, but if it wasn't, he was going to be in trouble, wasn't he? Behind it. The body shot from Ruiz as well. Turn it ahead from McGregor. They saw the right hand coming. But Ruiz has come out with a little bit more purpose at the start of the sixth round. To be fair, McGregor's invited him. I think that. No, I understand he wants to really try and box a little bit more, but I still think you know he's been having so much success, even though the rounds have been hard before. So much success forcing the pace, pushing Ruiz back. And that, that has to be the tactic again. I just think what, what Kieran was saying, just a little change of angle now and again when you are attacking will, will pay dividends. Left hand from Ruiz. Sneaky counter. Lovely from Ruiz. A nice little roll up and then come back with the left hook. Fainted to the body with the left. Slash the right hand over the top. That's better from the just a little faint before he pulls through the jab. That's better work. Chance to go and do some work. Just not taking advantage of it. Get a wild right hand. It does land one. It could be a fight changer, but uh, both that he's thrown so far have been quite the way off. Ruiz working right up to the bell. You can see the swelling there on the eye of McGregor. Not too concerning at the moment. But certainly something for us to keep our eye on as the ice goes on. And Kieran, you spoke there about wanting to see Ruiz initiate and had an opportunity there, didn't take advantage of it. I think we've seen that he's, that he's going to wait for Lee McGregor to engage the entire time. Yeah, I think that round came out with um, a lot more intent than he has for the, for the previous rounds. Um, starting, to look at, starting to look very comfortable in there, um, doing his own thing now, pushing Lee back. And he looks pretty relaxed in the corner as well, so I think he's going to come out with, a, with some more intent in this round. Maybe try uh, the phrase, turn the screw, and uh, I think he's going to try and do that. Turn the screw, put the hammer down, welcome to the commentary cliches. Great to, great to have you here, Kieran Conway. 
But yeah, Diego Ruiz was up out of his stool and bouncing, ready for the bell ahead of round seven. Ten scheduled here at your call. Oh, nice there from McGregor, lands the right hand. Just thinking the jab, left up, right hand. Stuck in the corner. This is McGregor's, this is the way this is better. But he does not think about his work, it's a bit more clever. But he has to be the one pressure. And that's where he's, I feel, looks more comfortable, has more success. This time, Diego Ruiz. McGregor responds with a couple of clean jabs down the middle. Oh, Part off of that right hand there, McGregor. But again, looking better when the guy who's forcing the pace is applying the pressure. Work and Ruiz tags him with the right hand. Good jab from McGregor. Just dipped the head over to the side there, missing the, the return jab from Ruiz. This round is just looked a little bit more like those earlier rounds where McGregor was a bit more in charge. Yeah, well it is, yeah, because again, this is, this is where it suits him, the guy applying the pressure, dictating the pace, and to keep Ruiz, Ruiz back on the ropes for the most part. And also, Ruiz is waiting too long to fire back, more so in this round than in the other. Well, seven rounds in, this the co-main event is the belt that is on the line for our final fight of the evening. It is the WBO European. It's Danny Dignan versus Grant Dennis. 12 rounds here at your call. Big opportunity. Of course, for Dignan, who wants to get to world level, and Grant Dennis, who would love to have that WBO European strap here at your call. But let's get back to the fight at hand, Lee McGregor and Kieran Conway was a little bit more in control of that seventh round. Yeah, uh, I can't back the words a little bit there, because Ruiz didn't come out and he didn't, didn't do much at all. Uh, if anything, Lee was the one to put a foot on the gas, maybe round six was, um, he was taking a little bit of, taking a breather, regenerating, and uh, he's back to work now. Well, three rounds to go here at York Hall. Check in with Spencer at the end of this round to see how he's got the fight scored. Again, nothing massive to worry about, but there is some swelling around the eyes of McGregor. It does show that he has been in a tough fight for seven and a bit rounds so far tonight. But he's been in control without ever really being in control, if that makes any sense. So he's sort of like doing, he's doing the most work in the majority of the fight, but there's never a sense that he's not really controlling everything. Ruiz is always there, and just having to make a dent in Ruiz. Which from McGregor, he's had it a couple of times, but usually, well, every time he hits someone, they feel it, and he changes their tactics. Of course, a lot can happen in 
two and a half rounds. But this is one of those fights where you talk about him being in control without being in control. Any score could be read out on the scorecard. It wouldn't necessarily be a surprise, provided McGregor was the winner. Yeah, well, no, this means sometimes when he's, when he's been competitive and you can give him a nod, of course, but... You have to, if anything, McGregor's been busy up to that. And I think there's more purchase in most of his shots, but Ruiz has had some good days, case in point there, some good shots of his own. But that was off the back of being tapped by a good shot by McGregor. The way he responds to being caught, as we've just seen again there, that's a jab off the back of a McGregor jab. And again. Good shot, good lovely left up look at there from Ruiz. Forcing McGregor there to move his head. Trying to move away from that corner. Straight into another one. Good body shot there from McGregor. Again, got to move on the body there with the feet. Shot. Just his foot to get that right hand away. And they settle into a you go, I go rhythm. Good round, I think, from, from, from McGregor, but still not being able to make a dent in Ruiz. Well, this is a fascinating fight because, as Barry, joined, uh, Barry Jones pointed out, Lee McGregor probably in charge, but Diego Ruiz looks like he's having a great time in there. Yeah, Ruiz, he's walked back to a corner. I think he believes he might be winning the rounds, to be honest, um, but I thought McGregor won that round pretty convincingly. Um, but, yeah, he can't seem to put a dent in uh, Ruiz. Like I said, he, he's hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, but he's coming back all the time. But it starts to, it's starting to remind me of a bit of um, a sparring partner, like a tough sparring partner you've got in there. He's just, but he's just punching him around the ring and he's, he's throwing the shots back, but he, he doesn't seem to have the determination to go and do his own work. And with, with the Five, ten, Eight seven. rounds in then, Spencer. How have you got this? Um, I've got it 6-2 to Lee McGregor, but it's a lot closer than how the story sounds. I think that is a very fair assessment of what we've seen over the eight rounds so far. Still two to go. And both men will still feel as though they can be on the right side of the bounce. That's good early work from Ruiz. He's come up the gate there, hasn't he, Ruiz? You know, McGregor's pushing him back. He's the one at last then his hands go being proactive with some of, the, some of these shots. He's not afraid to take a couple in the corner and then try and work his way out and try to get that right hand round the corner, Ruiz. The thing is, he knows what McGregor is because McGregor doesn't always move his head after he throws the shots and doesn't, and very rarely moves his feet as well. So you'll know where he is when he, if he can block the shot. He knows he, when he fires back, McGregor's right in front of him. Two good ones. Oh, from Ruiz, then McGregor comes back. And just in front of our commentary position here, you can hear the effort still going into the shots on McGregor. And Ruiz rips back to the left hand of his own. Those body shots are still McGregor. They're flat. They just turn the angle a little bit. It's a different shot. Just see McGregor upping the pace and upping the power here. And landed with a heavy left hand. Sounds like he's standing in tight to recharge the batteries to go again. What a shot there from Ruiz. A good shot there from McGregor. That's the, that's the idea that they've been angled. Yeah, it's just these little, little touches to try and find the space for the big shot on the end of it. Slapping it up with those body shots there, Ruiz. No, not with that, though. It's a lovely right hand there from Ruiz. And again. Well, just guilty of leaving the hands down. <laughs> That's 
shot. A nice change of, a, change of attack there from McGregor. Another wall in there for using the inside of the glove. Not for the first time this evening, McGregor. Into the ninth round. 15 seconds on our clock. Just step back to fill the lungs there as McGregor. That's a heavy shot. Again, it was before he did. It's what he did before he threw the shot. That was back to the on McGregor. That's why he had success with that another little combination. Akira McGregor just seemed to take it up a gear there in that ninth round. Yeah, it did. Yeah, he, that round um, it started off a little bit like uh, rock and sock and robots a little bit, um, but then as the round uh, gradually went on. It was nice when Lee was letting his hands go and then he was rolling out, rolling out the way of um, Ruiz's comeback. Um, yeah, it, started, it, it ended really well for Lee. Um, a lot of work that he finished off with. Well, you said in the previous round that it was like a sparring partner. You wouldn't want too many spars like that, would you? Yeah, tough rounds, yeah. Tough rounds. Not too, well, too I think many. he heard you, but he came out all, all guns blazing Lee Ruiz in the first off, 30, 20, 30 seconds of the round. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Just in front of a series show that he's still full of energy. Final round then, McGregor versus Ruiz. We have had nine very intense, very physical rounds. And now three minutes for both men to take it out of the judges' hands. Yeah, lovely little combination to the body. Yes. He's jumped there from the ground. He can't believe he's hurt himself. Yes. Yes. Close to the ropes and catches the ground on the way in there. Nice jump there yes. from Diego Ruiz. Yes. Conlon stopped the stop Ruiz with fitness, to be honest. Movement, angles, and, and, and that's how he did it. But it hasn't been so much of that from McGregor. It's been brute strength and a roof one, hasn't it? And then again, he's, he's tried to move his head and stuff, and then he's forgotten about that, and he just wanted... But in his mind, in McGregor's mind, he just wants to get on you, hurt you, feel the pace, outwork you, out hustle you. Final 90 seconds of the fight. It hasn't been that forehead to forehead stuff that we've seen in the previous rounds. But it's nice from McGregor steps in with the right hand and lands the jab. Just gets cuffed by the left hand of Ruiz. It's good from Ruiz there. Just, just lean back to avoid that left hook. Lovely shot here from McGregor. Nice left hand there from Ruiz. Right into the final minute. Barry Jones. Ruiz is a tough, hard man, to be honest, but, but he only works when you work. I think that's, that's one thing. But and McGregor is physically strong, you know, and he's shown that tonight. And he might know he wanted to so walk right through Ruiz, wasn't able to at times. But 
they can be more than fruitful. It's, it's a good, I think, I think he wins. I think he thought he won the fight uh, for me, but McGregor. That's a lovely right hand there, McGregor. Seeing on the replay, it's perfectly timed right hand. Right through the, and if that's not going to hurt Ruiz at this stage of the fight, then nothing was going to hurt him. And we're going to the judges' scorecards, uh, but before we do, uh, Kieran, as he goes through to world level, or he hopes to go through to world uh, level, Lee McGregor will learn a lot from fights like that. Yeah, 100%. That, uh, that was a tough fight, to be fair. It was a lot tougher than maybe you would like. Um, but he's shown some really good stuff there, and uh, I, think can, I think you can learn a lot from that and take a lot, lots of things twice. A hard ten rounds for both men. Let's see who gets their arm raised with Terry Kavanagh. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. They put on a great, great show of boxing. At the 10 great rounds, we want to get a goal to clear the camp score totals. Here it has it 95 points to 95 points, declaring this one a draw. Both fighters even. The 95-95. Diego Ruiz ends a losing run here in the UK. And Lee McGregor leaves the ring for the first time without victory. Barry Jones, Kieran Conway, your thoughts? I thought McGregor did enough to win, even though I thought, I think all around, every round, there wasn't one round that wasn't competitive, there wasn't one round where Ruiz didn't have, didn't have a lot yeah. of success, but also, like, for me, I thought that McGregor, you no, know, was the one always pushing forward, there was more purchase in most of his punches, and I thought he did enough to win the fight. But he's leaving the ring shaking his head, Kieran. 95-95, uh, I don't think you can discredit the work that Diego Ruiz did this evening. Yeah, um, you can understand why to, uh, it was seen like that, because every time Lee was working, Ruiz had worked back. It was like, you throw two, I'll throw two. You throw three, I'll throw three. It was very equal, very even. But I did think that McGregor was doing the cleaner work, and he was obviously pushing him back a lot more. So I thought that, that should have nudged it over the edge for Lee. But when we go to the judges' scorecards, of course, it was the referee yep, I'm here. who decided. Uh, this was Spencer Fearon's card, 98-92. Spencer, you're here. Uh, you had McGregor, quite the clear victor there. You gave him the first five rounds and the last three. I think I don't think anybody would uh, would begrudge Ruiz those rounds in the middle because he did work hard. But tough lesson for McGregor. Certainly not the end, but one he'll have to learn from. Um, he'd have to learn from it. But what, what I'm trying to say, Dave. Um, from where I was sitting and what I was seeing, he was always having the last word and he was putting the, 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 the better combinations of, of punches. The harder shots were being thrown by Ruiz, but I thought, I thought McGregor won this fight, not handily, but I thought he won the fight. Even though like it was a tough fight, but even though the rounds, he was winning those rounds. In my eyes, he was winning those rounds. Well, he now moves to 11 victories, one draw, nine by way of stoppage. Of course, with that power, maybe he expected to come this evening and to, to blow Ruiz away. He'd been stopped before by Conlon, but he is a, he is a tough opponent. He is a tough night's well, work for the everyone. Is this, at those, the fights against Conlon, that was at featherweight. Um, the other fight where he got stopped, that was at the higher weight. Maybe this is his weight now. He's at, he's at Bantam. This is his weight, he should stay in his weight because he's a handful for anyone. Um, but I, what I didn't like, what I didn't like was the body language from Lee McGregor. I didn't like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't walking around with the demeanor like of the confidence that he actually, like he won the fight. Thought, yeah, I won the fight, it was hard. But I thought the better shots and the better repertoire punches came from McGregor. And that's why, that's why I thought he won the fight. But it was something that uh, Kieran Conway spoke about in between rounds. All of the pace seemed to be set by Lee McGregor. Credit to Diego Ruiz for the way he counted, but it's as though he was always waiting. I think if Lee McGregor had gone all night without throwing a punch, then Ruiz would have as well. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like I said, fair play to Ruiz because he, he, he really did come to fight. And it was, it was, it was nice to see, because you see someone in the, in the opposite corner who's not coming to win, he came to win. And that was that moment at the end there with the, the body language from McGregor. I mean, obvious immediate disappointment as well, because he'd have been looking at this fight. You can only take opponents one at a time, but he'd have been hoping to get the victory this evening and then sort of project himself to what could be a title fight next or a defense of his European title. Most definitely, because like, he's in the world right now. He's, he's, um, in a short space of time, he's propelled himself. But especially like the Guerfi win, um, and then it was a, um, Vincent um, Legrande. Um, that, 
he's got big wins. So he's got those wins. And, and, and like, you know what? This could be a blessing in disguise for him. But now he's going to realize that, well, things ain't going to fall onto my lap. I've got to work a little bit harder and go back to things. But I still thought that he won this fight. It, it being a draw, I was, was kind of like, wow, well, maybe I'm misjudging him. I don't know how Barry scored the fight. Yeah, no, I, I, I thought, I thought the same with you. I thought every round was competitive and every round was, was theoretically it was an argument, but still, McGregor was forced on the pace. He was the busier of the two. And I think you have to give him those rounds. I, I, I do. I, I think some of the, sometimes because Ruiz throws his punches a little bit faster and flashier, maybe, it might catch the eye. But I still think McGregor, with, the, with that forward momentum and, and all his work, always initiating every exchange. And like you say, Spencer, usually finishing off with, with, the, with the shot at the end, ending his exchanges. For me, I thought he was, he was a, a clear but not comfortable one. Well, plenty to talk about, and the conversation will continue. He is still the British Commonwealth and European champion, and I'm sure he'll be back later in the year to defend those belts. But now it is time for the main event. Before we get the men in the ring, we caught up with Danny Digner before the event.